back to this one area. Let's be realistic here. Am I really gonna spend this much? One of the books is already $30. Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. As you guys can tell from the title, today I went to Barnes & Nobles. I spent a total of two hours in there and here's just a few clips of me shopping around. So enjoy. <music>
of these. Oh, this one. Damn. Wow. Oh. Whoa. Just so you know, I am not actually 100% getting all of them. I still need to decide. Wow. I didn't know that they had covers like this. Oh, this is the first one. I recognize this one. I didn't know they had. Oh, that's a lot. Just that one copy. I just keep going back to this one area, which is the romance section. I'm pretty sure my footprints are still there. This is where I feel the most comfortable. If you're wondering what I'm doing all the over here, it's because this corner had no one. I have wandered all the way to this section. Before I buy... Is this all the choices? I don't think I'm gonna get every one of them. Let's just go over what I have and see if I want to buy every single one of them. I have these four. 100% I'm getting this one. And then I'm also gonna get this one. I want this one. I want this one too. I'm gonna put this one back. This is also third person POV. Let's just double check every one of them. Page, I flipped two and that's what it says. Let's get this one. <clears throat> Going back to the romance section. Oh, where does this go? I was just about to leave and then I see this. This sounds right out my alley. Okay, fine, I'll get this one too. Oh no. Once I got rid of one book, I'm finding others. I'm using my phone because my camera ran out of battery. I didn't even record anything. Okay. Oh my god. One, two, three, four, five. If, let's be realistic here. Am I really gonna spend this much? One of the books is already $30, and then the rest is around $17 each. 17 times 4 is like $68. Oh my god, that's like $100. Do I? Do I? Why am I looking at other books? Girl, you already have enough. I'll just double check one more time, just to make sure. Dual POV? It is... Ah, damn. Let me double check this one. Better hate than never. This is also dual POV. I'm adamant about this one because I've never read a book where the female lead has an OnlyFans account. <coughs> 10 years. Let's up and check this one. This one's third person. I don't think I'm gonna get this one. I skimmed through it and there were some scenes that I... I don't know. I'm not feeling it. And this is also the first book that I picked up too. This is a no for now. Maybe I'll come back to it in the future. Expect to save money and I keep looking at other books. What is my problem? I'm looking at this one right now. <sighs> it's not even out yet. Currently it's gonna be published on the 14th. That's not today. I would be saving $17 by putting away one book. And here I am adding another one. I have never seen these covers before. You know what? Some books I'm just going to have to order online. I want to save as much as I can. So I'm going to put this away and get this book online. The rest I'm just going to buy right now and I have to stop looking around. Final. I am back home now. I bought a total of four books and this is the most I've ever bought from Barnes & Noble. Barnes & Noble prices are not the cheapest and when I see there is a cheaper option, I would follow that route. However, I just could not help myself today. I was in such a good mood. The weather was really nice. I love the chilliness and it just felt like the perfect time to go there and buy some books. And if I spend a lot, then I spent a lot. Without further ado, let me just get into the book haul, the mini book haul of the books that I got 
from Barnes & Noble. There were a lot of good books in Barnes & Noble, but I had to make a choice of which ones I wanted to buy. I have Better Hate Than Never by Chloe Lees. This is a childhood enemies to lovers situation. These two characters, when they were kids, they did not like each other. They were under the impression that the other hated them and now they are adults and they realize that that was never the case they never hated each other so i gravitated towards this one maybe it's the color this is one of the first books that i saw in Barnes and nobles and i wanted to get it let me turn on the light because i feel as if i'm very dark right now i don't know if it made a difference so this is the first one and i can't wait to read this one next I got The Nanny by Lana Ferguson. I feel like one day I will find myself in a position where I bought two of the same books accidentally. The cover just feels like something I already owned but I don't already own this one because sometimes I buy so many and I just forget what books I have bought. I just know one day I will buy a book and not realize that I already own a copy at home on my bookshelf. Back to this one, The Nanny. I read the synopsis and I saw the words only fan so I was very intrigued by the idea that the female character here has an only fans account. I'm going to read the top part for you guys. It says a woman discovers the father of the child she is nannying may be her biggest only fan in this steamy contemporary romance by Lana Ferguson. Suddenly unemployed and on the brink of eviction, Cassie Evans is left with two choices, get a new job and fast or fire up her long untouched OnlyFans account. But the job market is terrible and as for OnlyFans, well there are reasons she can't go back. Just when all hope seems lost, an ad for a live-in nanny position appears to be the solution to all her problems. It's almost too perfect until she meets her would-be employer. Next paragraph, because I, I have to read this to you guys. Aiden Reed, executive chef and DILF extraordinaire, is far from the stuffy single dad Cassie was imagining. DILF extraordinaire? What? Okay, so we have a single dad who's a DILF. I do like reading the single dad trope because the kids are always so cute. And this one, Aiden has an adorably tenacious daughter who is named Sophie. I can't wait to read this one. I already know this is going to be steamy. I just know it will be. The most recent single dad trope book I've read is Caught Up by Liz Tomford. Kai Rhodes. Oh. I also got Next Door Nemesis by Alexa Martin. This is the last book that I picked up when I was at Barnes & Noble. I was only going to get three books. Clearly, my eyes had other plans because the moment I put one book back, I see another one that I want to pick up and buy. And that kept going and going until I decided no. What made me get this one, which is really not a good reason, is that this book is technically not out yet. It's gonna be out on the 14th, which is, oh, which is tomorrow. It's not like I'm going to read this anytime soon. Nonetheless, I decided to add this into my bag and buy it. This is a enemies to lovers, rivals to lovers, and their neighbors. Ooh, the tension is also going to be high in this one. And last but not least, and it's also the reason why I went to Barnes & Noble in the first place, it was to get my hands on Iron Flame by Rebecca Yaros. And this has the sprayed edges. This one has a black sprayed edge. This one, I really did not want to wait on Amazon. After I finished Fourth Wing, I wanted to get my hands on this book. However, on Amazon, it said that it was gonna be delivered in December. I am not going to wait until December to read this book. Uh-uh. So I went to Barnes & Noble's today to get my hands on this one and it was this kind. I had no plans on getting um, ones with sprayed edges. That was not my intention. The Barnes & Noble that I went into just happened to have this and it was only the copies with this sprayed edge. This book was $30. I've never spent so much on a book before. I was like, okay, you know what? Let me just double check on Amazon to, to see if I should just wait it out. And I noticed that it was going to come a lot earlier than December. However, I was just standing next to the table that had this book and I was like, who's to guarantee that the copy I get when I buy it online is going to be a good copy and it's not going to be bent or dented or 
destroy it. So I ended up picking out this one and since I was there in person, I could just pick out the one that was in the best condition and this is the one that I think was in the best condition. That concludes my mini book haul and my trip to Barnes and Noble. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Subscribe to my channel if you haven't already and thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye!